And now, our location interview. Bob Hoskins is an actor who's made his name playing tough guys in films such as The Long Good Friday and The Cotton Club. More recently, he's made two films back-to-back, -back, both with Michael Caine, Sweet Liberty, directed by Alan Alda, and Mona Lisa, directed by Neil Jordan, whose last film was Company of Wolves. Film 86 joined them on location at a London hotel, as did the film's famous ex beatle producer and his famous friend. Well, how do you do, Mr. Hoskins? All right, Tom. Oh, all right, come on. <laughs> Good? What do you mean? Well, I mean, the, uh, the jig jig with a fella upstairs, was it? All right. What's wrong with you? I don't know. What's wrong with me? Neil came to me in the first place and it, it, he had a script that he hadn't written. And it, I, I, I was more like the superhero, you know. George was bashing people up all over the place. And it was wrong somehow. And, and Neil knew it was wrong. He came around and said, what's wrong? And we went through it. I said what I thought was wrong. And then he came back a month later with a completely new script. And it was George. I suppose he's a sort of mixture of Norman Wisdom and Lou Grant. Bob's Metier, you would think, is from the Long Good Friday, really, he's a violent gangster, really, but he's, got, he's, he's obviously got a side to him and a depth as an actor that's totally different. And as we've gone, I spoke to him very early in, with the first draft of the script, which was actually quite violent. And uh, as I went through different drafts, always with him in mind, I changed the, the central character quite a bit. The hardest thing on film is to bash someone up realistically and the other day i had to bash up Rob, robert um what's his name robert donor and um, he's nearly 80 years of age and it, it was terrifying you know do you find that offensive to have to do that i don't find it offensive i find it frightening because i like 80 years of age bits chip off you know <laughs> To uh, everyone's uh, surprise, Michael Caine accepted a cameo role in this film. Mm -hmm. uh, well, shall we cut the no need to be uh, told, the, 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 the last piece, sorry, the cream cake, sorry. Yeah, Which that's that one there. We just finished the film together, Sweet Liberty in America, with Alan Alda. And um, this came up. And I didn't say anything to him, you know what I mean? But I know he thought they'd said, you know, will you do it? And, and I know it... I, like, I, I was dying for him to do it, you know, because I knew he, I love working with him because he's just, he's the governor, you know, it's wonderful. And uh, it's like working with one of the old knights, you know, like Gilgood or someone like that. And um, so I didn't say anything, and then bash, he turned up. I said, well, I'm here, son, <laughs> you know. Good evening, oh, sir. What, May I see your invitation? Dinny, Dinny. For Christ's sake, George. What am I doing here, right? I didn't say that. I'm sorry. Don't be sorry. It's bad to be sorry. What you really need is, is, is a sort of leading actor, except it's too small for a leading actor to do. It's five days. But my great friend is Bob Hoskins, and I'm a great admirer of Neil Jordan, the director of this picture. So I said I'd do the part for Bob and Neil, really. That's basically what it is. Bob Hoskins is also a playwright, but why does he use a pseudonym? Basically, it was when I first wrote a play, uh, <laughs> I wrote it overnight, very drunk. And I wrote this play and I was in a... And a mate of mine came round in the morning. So we were supposed to go out with a day and he, while I was getting changed, he read this play on the table. And he said to me, who wrote this shit? And I said, uh, uh, well, it's a mate of mine, Robert Williams. He, he, he wrote that, <laughs> you know, and that's how the name grew. And I've, <laughs> you know, so I've never admitted to what I've done since. Hello, mate, how are you? We have met. This is uh, George. Yeah, of course. How'd you get on the other night? All right, was it Come good? Yeah. George. I'm sorry, but I've been trying to get in touch with you. Didn't Dudley take care of you? Oh, yeah, he did, but I mean... Bob Hoskins is on a rising star with several successful roles to his credit, and he thinks he knows why he's been so lucky. It sounds bizarre. This is really bizarre, but I've, I'm, I've worked in Covent Garden, and um, you know, the old Covent Garden, and all the electricity was diabolical, you know, it was awful. And... Uh, the lights went and I went downstairs to fix the fuse and there was this face and hands and I thought it was a trick of the light. I went upstairs to the old fellow that was working and I'm saying, is this the most amazing light effects down there? There's this face wandering about. So what did you see? And I described it to him. He said, well, you've seen one of the nuns. So before it, this was 
Covent Garden. It was convent. This was a convent, and it was a convent. It was called Convent Garden. You know I mean? For the nuns, and you've seen one of the nuns. Very few people see them, and you're going to be very lucky. Oh, we'll believe him, won't we? Bob Hoskins on location in London. The film Mona Lisa will be in competition at the Cannes Film Festival.